Welcome, thrill seekers. Dive with us into the mystic Channel Islands. Today, we're embarking on a journey to uncover the mysteries of Europe's eeriest destination. Did you know these islands are referred to as the witch hunting capital of Atlantic Europe? And did you also know that beyond these legends, the Channel Islands also hold a reputation as a tax haven and a smuggler's paradise? Stick around, as today we will discover 61 intriguing facts embedded in the Channel Islands. 1. The Channel Islands are an archipelago in the English Channel off the French coast of Normandy. They comprise two crown dependencies, the Bailiwick of Jersey, the largest of the islands, and the Bailiwick of Guernsey, which includes Guernsey, Alderney, Sark, Herm, and a few smaller islands. These islands are remnants of the Duchy of Normandy. Although not part of the United Kingdom, the UK oversees its defense and international relations. 2. Despite being closer to France and not being part of the United Kingdom or European Union, the Channel Islands are possessions of the British Crown and are governed independently by the Crown. 3. Ghost Hill, located at St. Aubin, houses the ghost-haunted Mount Arthur, its former name. Legend tells of three religious individuals seeking refuge there, only to be fed and killed by the homeowner. Their spirits began haunting the area, leading to the man's death. The house was demolished but was rebuilt using the original stones, causing the victim's screams to persist. The tales of blood-soaked ghosts led to its final demolition. 4. The Channel Islands cover an area of 198 square kilometers. As of August 1, 2023, their population is 177,775. 5. The Channel Islands were the only British territory occupied by the Germans during the Second World War. 6. Smuggler's Cove, characterized by its cobblestone and sand beach, earned its name due to extensive smuggling activities, especially by sea otter traders and contrabandistas. 7. In 2011, Sark, the smallest of the Central Channel Islands, was designated the world's first dark sky island by the International Dark Sky Association, making it a premier stargazing spot. Its absence of cars and public streetlights ensures a pristine night sky. 8. Rokeberg, or Witch Rock in southeastern Jersey Island, contributes to its reputation as the witch-hunting capital of Atlantic Europe. Local fishermen traditionally offered the 13th fish they caught to the witches to avert misfortune. 10. Hogang's Elage 8, also known as the German Underground Hospital or Jersey War Tunnels, was an unfinished underground hospital in St. Lawrence, Jersey. Built by German occupying forces during World War II, over 1,100 yards of tunnels were dug. After the Channel Islands' liberation, the facility was turned into a museum, documenting the German occupation. 11. Many Channel Islands residents work in financial services without incurring capital gains or transfer taxes. Jersey receives funds from England as part of England's tax haven system. The island's government doesn't charge corporate taxes to permanently based companies, whether foreign or domestic. Financial companies pay a flat 10% corporate tax rate, while large corporate retailers and utility companies pay 20%. 12. The official languages of the Channel Islands are English and French. While most residents speak English, the rural areas of Jersey, Guernsey, and Sark predominantly communicate in Norman French, known as Harares. 13. Jersey boasts a lavender farm, producing a range of lavender oils used in various fragrances of Jersey lavender products. 14. Channel Islanders have various superstitions, such as believing in sleeping with old socks for better health, regarding Fridays as unlucky days, and using specific phrases to avoid bad luck while fishing. They also have beliefs about flame colors and planting herbs while whispering swear words for increased potency. 15. The Channel Islands are home to a rich biodiversity, including the island fox, island night lizard, northeastern elephant seal, and many more species. 16. Lerie Headland houses La Cruz Fe, a fairy cave believed to connect to a fairy underworld. Constructed between 3000 to 2500 BC, it is one of Guernsey's largest surviving dolmens. 17. St. Helier Town is named after a Belgian monk, Herlier, who settled there after a dispute with his father over his miraculous healing and conversion of his faith. 18. The highest point in the Channel Islands is Diablo Peak or Devil's Peak, located on Lemu, Santa Cruz Island, standing at 2,450 feet. The official currency throughout the Channel Islands is the pound sterling. Although it is the same as the one used in the United Kingdom, the bailiwicks of Jersey and Guernsey produce their own notes and coins. 19. The British currency is also accepted throughout the Channel Islands, but Jersey and Guernsey pounds can't be used outside the islands. 20. Here are some common derived phrases that can help you converse when in the Channel Islands. Good morning is bonjour. Thank you is merci ben How are you is comme est-ce que tu? Goodbye is abato. 
What is your name is Chakend Venom. 21. In 1608, an act was passed forbidding anyone over the age of 15 from knitting during harvest time. The penalty for breaking this rule was imprisonment. This legislation was enacted because, in the 17th century, nearly everyone on the Channel Islands could knit, including children. Such was their dedication that they produced over 10,000 pairs of stockings weekly. This fervor for knitting detracted from vital tasks like harvesting and bracing, prompting the government to impose this restriction. 23. The chain of five islands that comprise the Channel Islands is home to more than 500 flower species. Some of the famous gardens that showcase these blooms include the Botanic Gardens at Samaris Manor in Jersey, the Victorian Walled Kitchen Garden in Guernsey, Howard Davis Park in St. Helier, and the Winston Churchill Memorial Park on St. Berlades Bay, among others. 24. In October 1855, the famous French writer Victor Hugo was exiled to Guernsey, where he wrote his novel Les Miserables. 25. Ever heard of the bridal ghost haunting the Waterworks Valley? Legend has it that a bride committed suicide in the valley after being jilted by her fiancé on their wedding day. Once a year, her ghost is said to drive down to the valley searching for her disloyal lover. Although she has been spotted by a few individuals, she has never harmed anyone. 26. The islands are famous for their dairy products, especially the rich and creamy Channel Island milk produced by a unique breed of cows in Jersey and Guernsey. 27. About 700 identified shipwrecks and 100 unidentified shipwrecks have occurred in the waters of the Bailiwick of Guernsey and the Bailiwick of Jersey. These include ships that were damaged but later repaired, as well as those that became hubs for underwater archaeology. Some of these shipwrecks include the White Ship, John of Sandwich, Makeshift, La Vierge du Bon Port, HMS Dragon, HMS Victory, and others. 28. Jersey boasts over 200 bays, leading to the popular saying, no matter where you are in Jersey, you're never more than 10 minutes from the sea. The longest bay in Jersey is Owens Bay, measuring 8 kilometers in length. Others include Oisani Bay, St. Aubin's Bay, Chave de Pa, and Bonnui, among others. 29. While the Channel Islands may not have a specific national drink, the wine, cider, and beer scene is a distinct feature of the islands. Some local establishments include Lamar Wine Estate, Gory Wine Cellar, Randall's Brewery, Rockette Cider, and the Channel Islands Liquor Company. 30. Many Hollywood filmmakers have used the Channel Islands as film sets. Some notable films and series shot there include Another Mother's Son, Beast, Being Julia, The Blockhouse, Danger Route, The Longest Day, The Devil's Rock, Islands at War, and many more. 31. The national dish of the Channel Islands is the Guernsey Bean Jar. This dish is made with pig's foot, haricot beans, butter beans, bay leaves, onions, and carrots. Typically, the beans are soaked overnight. The next day, all ingredients are combined in a large casserole dish, covered with water or stock, and then baked for six to eight hours. It is usually served with crusty bread and Guernsey butter. 32. Camera is a Channel Island beer and cider festival held every September in St. Helier's People's Park. The festival showcases over 100 local ales, both local and international beers and ciders, and features food and live bands for entertainment. 33. During World War II, the Channel Islands, including the bailiwicks of Jersey and Guernsey, were under German occupation. As the war intensified, residents were prohibited from listening to the BBC and German radio stations. Violators had their radios confiscated. 34. Elizabeth Castle is an island fortress constructed in the 16th century. Located off St. Aubin's Bay, it was named in honor of Queen Elizabeth I. The castle once housed Sir Walter Raleigh, the governor of Jersey from 1600 to 1603, and provided refuge for King Charles II during the English Civil War. Today, it serves as an open museum showcasing island artifacts. It's accessible by foot during low tide or via the castle ferry. 35. Plamont Bay, located in the northwestern corner of Jersey, is one of the island's most breathtaking beaches, framed by towering cliffs. The beach reveals glistening rock pools and captivating caves during low tide. For convenience, a wooden staircase connects the beach to a nearby cafe. 36. Some notable personalities from the Channel Islands include Henry William Dogliesh Cavill, Timothy Renault, Eleanor Glynn, Alex Farnham, Christy Angela Goggin, and Damien Leon Watts. 37. The Big Black Dog of Boulet Bay, also known as the Black Dog of Boulet or Le Chien de Boulet, is a legendary creature. Designed as a massive black hound with protruding eyes and dragging a chain, its presence is often announced by the sound of its chain. Linda Corby and her friends reportedly witnessed the creature in 1987. 
38, Ormer casserole, a Guernsey delicacy, traces its origins back to 1673. Made with Ormers and complemented by ingredients like pork belly, carrots, shallots, butter, and bay leaves, this dish is a seasonal treat, as Ormers can only be collected between January and April. 39. Greve de Lec, a sandy beach on Jersey's north shore, is especially popular among visitors. Sheltered by towering cliffs, it provides a serene setting, although the cliffs do block the late afternoon sun. A notable feature is a large cave that extends to the beach's eastern headland. 40. CCA Galleries International showcases an exquisite collection of contemporary British art, featuring paintings, limited edition prints, and sculptures. Artworks by renowned artists like Sir Peter Blake, Barbara Ray CBERA, Damien Hurst, Sir Terry Frost, Dan Baldwin, Barry Rygate, and emerging artist Joe Webb can be admired here. 41. On 31st December 1968, the Guernsey police marked a unique event, the world's first underwater arrest. Mr. Kempthorne Lay was caught illegally harvesting Ormer 40 feet below the sea surface. Constable David Archer, a scuba diving police officer, apprehended him underwater, culminating in the arrest when both emerged. 42. The iconic Anacapa Lighthouse, established in 1932, stands as a beacon guiding mariners around the perilous waters of the Channel Islands. The 39-foot cylindrical tower, located on East Anacapa's peak, represents a pinnacle in lighthouse technology. Initially manned by a crew, the U.S. Coast Guard automated its operations in 1960. 43. The Battle of Flowers, a festive carnival celebrated on the second Thursday of August in Jersey, has been an annual tradition since its inception in 1902, marking King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra's coronation. Attendees can enjoy music, fun fairs, parades, and various street performances. 44. There's a natural swimming pool in the south of Little Sark called Venus Pool. The pool, which is isolated from the sea in the same area, is surrounded by a large rock. The pool is 41 meters long by 5 meters wide at its widest part and 1 meter wide at its narrowest. The deepest part of the water is 2.5 meters and 1.8 meters at the shallow end. During low tides, it is usually muddy, revealing all the debris in it. 45. One of the most famous landmarks on Jersey Island is the 800-year-old Castle Connaught, which is situated at the mouth of St. Peter Port Harbor. The castle was once under the control of England, France, and Germany before it was handed over as a gift to the islanders by King George VI after the Second World War. Today, the castle has been turned into an open museum, giving visitors insight into the history of the island and other happenings of the past. 46. One of the most well-known residents of Liberty Hall is the Grey Lady, the ghost of Margaret Varick, who visited the hall to see her niece but didn't make it out alive due to unknown reasons. Margareta's ghost has appeared to some people in the hall but has caused no harm, leading them to refer to her as our beloved ghost. 47. As of 2017, about 239 acres of land on Jersey Island were used to grow a variety of apples. Most of these apples harvested were used to produce cider and black butter, and the rest were exported to other countries. 48. Some islands in the Channel Islands have broken Guinness World Records. Some of the records broken include the longest human chain of people patting each other on the back, the lowest resting heartbeat in a healthy human, the only cat with two bionic legs, the most people signing and singing at the same time, and others. 49. Spring usually arrives four weeks earlier in Guernsey than in the other British mainland, which allows the growth of some unique and beautiful flora on the island. 50. In 1852, Anthony Trollope erected the first red pillar post boxes in Guernsey, making it the first British island with a post box. 51. Old Guernsey cottages and houses usually have granite plinths that protrude from the chimney walls, called pièces de chaussière or witches' seats. According to folklore, the witches of Guernsey love to run wild on some nights, flying with their invisible wings instead of using brooms. Residents decided to attach witches' seats to their houses so they could stop and rest before continuing on their journeys. 52. With 5 kilometers in length and 2.4 kilometers in width, Sark is the smallest of the islands in the Channel Islands and has a population of only 500 people. 53. Dixcart Bay Beach is a sand and pebble beach on the island of Sark, which almost disappears at high tide. Visitors enjoy swimming in the turquoise water, kayaking, paddleboarding, and many other fun activities. 54. On 23rd June 1940, the entire population of Alderney, which was about 1,500 people, was evacuated from the island during World War II because Hitler wanted to make it part of his Atlantic Wall. 55. The unusual animal that lives on the island of Alderney is the blonde hedgehog. 
Rumor has it that this uniquely colored creature arrived on the island hidden inside a Herodas shopping bag and is extremely rare in other parts of Europe. 56. Clamour de Haro is an ancient saying that anyone who believes they are being wronged can say to have the wrongdoing stopped. This saying includes repeating Haro three times, followed by the Lord's Prayer and the Grace. It is a law in Guernsey and the other Channel Islands, and it is expected to be said directly to the wrongdoer and in front of at least two witnesses. Within 24 hours, a formal written complaint is expected to be lodged at the Greffier. 57. Did you know there was a one-man invasion attempt on Sark Island in 1990? In August 1990, an unemployed nuclear physicist named André Gard, who believed he was the rightful heir and seigneur of Sark Island, planned a one-man invasion to put himself in the seat of the Sark's government. After arriving on the island, he pasted posters declaring his intention to take over the next day, which led to his arrest and the unsuccessful end of his plan. 58. The first airport in the Channel Islands is the Alderney Airport, located on Blay, St. Anne, Guernsey, and it was built in 1935. 59. The Sark Sheep Racing Festival is a yearly event that started 25 years ago. During the competition, teddy bears are tied to the sheep's back as they race down the track. This is one of the most significant events on the island's calendar, and it typically attracts thousands of visitors from Bailiwick and beyond. 60. Sark Henge, which is located near Point Derrible on the eastern side of Sark Island, is made up of nine small stones with a hole in the middle. These were erected in 2015 by an archaeologist named Richard Axton. These stones were raised to mark the 450-year anniversary since Queen Elizabeth I granted the fief of Sark to Helier de Carteret in 1565, and each of them contains a viewing hole that lines up with an island landmark like La Coupe, St. Unes, and Alderney. 61. The highest point in Sark and in the bailiwick of Guernsey is a 16th-century complex of farm dwellings and a mill wheel named Le Moulin de Contarain. It has been closed several times in the past for reconstruction, but was finally reopened in 2020. Thank you for watching this video. What country would you like to see in our next video? Please subscribe for more amazing videos.